Joining us live from Richmond and Megan, from listening to the fans in that our last segment at the training camp, they are already hyped. They're hyped and we're going to have some more fan talk for you. But you know what? Today marked the first time in two years that the Washington football team has taken the field here in Richmond for training camp. Of course, last year because of the pandemic, they were up in Ashburn. So that meant no team here. No fans here as well, but you know what? The fans are back as well as the team, and it's not just Washington fans who are in attendance, but today we see Dallas Cowboy fans infiltrating training camp, and to absolutely no surprise, they, of course, received a lot of booing from the crowd. Now, not only did I catch up with this rowdy Cowboys fan you're looking at right now, but I also get Washington's fans' response to what this guy was doing behind enemy lines. We had some cowboy fans coming out the sewers, and everybody just could let them have it. I noticed you you loved soaking up all the booze over there. How, how nice is that to come into this camp and just piss off all these Washington fans? It feels good. I've been out here every year since the Redskins, since the Deadskins been out here. It's no longer the Redskins. And I come out here, yeah, I'll be back next year. To be honest with you, my fiance is a Redskins fan, so I'm out here to support her. But... The Cowboys are all the way, all the time. Pretty brave to show himself. Yeah, he may not make it through the rest of the day with someone tearing off his hat or his shirt. She was very fiery, as you could tell. She was great. But while the Dallas fan got his fair share of chirping from the Washington faithful, he did make it out of there with both his hat on his head and his shirt on his back. Now, other than what happens on the field, a big concern for this Washington fan base is where their team's name search is headed. That is something that I talked with about with them today. They gave me a lot of good responses. And let me tell you, they threw some names at me that you would have never expected. So that's going to be coming up shortly right here on WTKR. But until then, from Washington Training Camp, I'm Megan Plain with News 3 Sports.